Hello friend, it's Emily here from Table Laugh Blog. Today I want to talk to you for just a moment about summer learning and what it looks like in our home this year. And hopefully you can take these ideas and you can apply them to your homeschool, whether you homeschool year round or whether you typically take your summers off. Now, I understand it's tempting to really phone it in in the summertime, even if you're homeschooling year-round. I get it. We all need a break. We need to relax. And hey, <laughs> if you're like me, we've had a crazy first half of the year. So I really am just not feeling anything complicated, anything that requires a lot of preparation on my part. I need easy things to keep the learning happening this summer. So here are the four ways we are doing that in our home. The first one is art. Now that shouldn't be a huge surprise to you because we do a lot of art in our home and quite frankly I talk about it a lot on social media, on the blog, and even in these videos. Our main art focus is going to be Celebrate Summer, and that is a mixed media workshop, and it has all kinds of fun summer-themed projects for my kids. We've already started it, and they are having a blast. They just finished up this really cool watercolor citrus paint project, and yeah, so that's what we're working on when it comes to art this summer. It's great because it has a lot of variety, and they're not just doing one medium the whole summer long, and you know what? I don't have to continue to look for resources. I've got this one fantastic resource and it will carry me all summer and it will keep my kids busy and it will give them that creative outlet that they really require in their regular routines. The second thing we are doing is we are learning Spanish, but we're not learning it in a traditional way, if you want to call it that. We are doing things like Dice Off and we're doing online lessons through foreign languages for kids by kids. And Dice Off is a board game actually from that same company. Now, the great thing about it is that my kids are learning Spanish, but I am not having to do any of the work. The lessons that we are using are online and we simply go and log in and they watch these really cool videos that feature children speaking the language. So it's incredibly immersion based, but it's fun and it's relatable for my kids. It's much different from a previous experience we had teaching Spanish. That one didn't go so well because it was geared toward adults. This is fantastic because it is foreign language for kids and by kids, and therefore the kids are having fun while they're learning. Even the games and the review activities online are a blast. It's not anything I have to do, I just have to go get them logged in. So mama gets to rest a little bit, but the kids still learn and it's fun. So. The third thing that we are still doing this summer, we are doing music appreciation. Now, the great thing about this is this is yet another thing that sometimes can fall to the wayside throughout a regular homeschool year just because life gets busy and you know at the end of the day it's hard to say hey I'm just gonna ignore my math today so we can do music or I'm going to ignore my science so that we can do music yeah it's kind of hard to say that it doesn't necessarily make sense but we do that a lot and the great thing is that summer is perfect to make sure music is back in your life and back in your homeschool now one of my favorite ways to do that is through squilt now, Squilt is simple to use. It is perfect for parents who just want to make sure that their kids are getting it and they're immersed, they're exposed to the music, but it's not requiring tons and tons of effort on their parts. And that's why I really love it. Um, it's, it's open and go. Squilt is fantastic and it's great for summer learning. And hey, once again, it keeps that music culture alive in your home, even when you're taking a break. Now the last thing I want to say is that we are doing nature study. Now we always try to do a little bit of that throughout our homeschool year. We try to do it, you know, regularly during our weeks. But summer is a fantastic time for nature study because there's so much to explore. And even where we live, where it is super hot, there's still plenty to observe and there's plenty to take in. So one tool that we are using just to keep it fun for both of my kids and to give us an excuse to get outside 
we're using this magic school bus kit I found on Amazon. Now, the cool thing about this kit is you open it up. Give me just a moment. You open it up. And see, it comes, oh, except for the bowl I just dropped, but it comes with all of the things that you need, with the exception of the things that you would find in your home that are maybe perishable or just, like I said, regular household items. But it comes with the things that you need to make sure that nature study is happening with your kids. And the best thing about this kit for me is that I can use it with both of my kids. I have a five year age gap between my two kids. And so it's often difficult for me to find ways to teach them the same thing at the same time. And I really love this kit because we can get outside and we can do these things together and they can be working together and still getting it. It doesn't mean that I'm doing a double lesson it's just, hey, let's get outside and see what we need to do. Uh, in fact, you know, most of the things we've done so far are literally observation based and we go outside and we kind of read the magic school bus guide that's listed for the lessons and we just have a good time with it. So, so yeah, that is it. Those are our four ways that we are making sure summer learning is happening even when I don't feel like preparing a whole lot. So we're doing art, we are doing Spanish, we're doing music, and we are doing nature study. So if you haven't locked in your summer learning plans for your homeschool, I encourage you to take a look at these things. I will be sure to leave links in the description for you so that you can check these things out for yourself and see if they're a good match for your home and for your kids. So that's it for me today. Uh, until next time, I hope you have a great, great summer and happy homeschooling.